Okay, here we are again. Um, <coughs> excuse me for a second. <coughs> Alright, um, the next time I come in here, I'm going to, um, clean that vacuum cleaner out <coughs> because it never got where I even noticed it going on. Uh, but as I was sanding, I already wiped all this down with a towel, but as I was sanding in this area here, I uh, noticed that I was getting a lot more blue on the hose, a lot more blue on this. So this is uh, absolutely clogged up, and I got the other one over to clean it out with. Um, would I call that a quarter? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I still haven't sanded that down to get rid of the cracks, but right about here I know you can't see it very well but starting right about in this area here it needs to come down like this you see these cracks right here well those cracks follow down into the gel coat and from there forward up here it gets really big up through here even though you can't see it very well in the video it comes up a pretty long ways as it curves in the boat and I got some real stuff here to address so this is going to be the last area I work on because it's going to be the hardest. By the time I get around there, I'll have a little more experience. Um, but what I'm noticing is here on a flat surface, I can take a straight edge and put it up here and know when I've got this level. That's going to be a lot harder on a big area in that bend. And I don't want it to look too wavy. It may, you know, may have messed it up and never get it looking right. But uh, I want to kind of back off on that area there and next time I come out I'm gonna clean this out I started up my uh, uh, hose here just because when I shut it all down and got going I had the light in my hand I could see that I had quite a bit of speckles in the air and if I look up there on that window I could tell that a lot of this a lot more of this stuff got away from me than I realized um, I, I, I did a good job, just didn't do a great job with the hose, and uh, at the same time, um, that will clear the air pretty quick, and it's just about clearing the air so I can walk around without my respirator on, uh, which I currently do not have on, uh, but I did while I was sanding. So the sanding environment and the cleanup area is it's, it's good, you know, it's not great, but it's good. Um, but next time I'll actually be running that. Now that I know what to do, I should have had it on. I thought I was doing a better job. Next time I will have it on. And I still don't have a dust collector and I still don't know that I need a dust collector. I came back to this corner here and just stopped because this area here is gonna need a lot more attention. Where I start next time I come in, maybe at this corner and go that way across the stern and uh, then back up the other side. And uh, you know, this is gonna work. I mean, it's, it, it'll never be a perfect boat, but it's getting rid of so many imperfections that I'm just thrilled to know that this is going to look pretty good. Maybe never great, but it'll look pretty good. Um, and, and I'm having fun. I didn't know I was going to get another day in the shop, but I'm glad I did. Um, I don't want my boss to think he needs to give me extra days. Uh, but if he gives me an extra day, <laughs> this is exactly what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, this is good. Um, from here forward and around, from here down is priority one. As far as down under there goes, there will be a day when I will take the stands that I bought just for this and I'll pull that trailer out from under there and I'll spend some serious time underneath it too. But uh, we got a good start on this. We got a good plan on how it should look and how it's going to go and what we can and can't do so this is great i mean this is my winter project i thought it was going to be rebuilding the out drive and if i ever get back on top of the money enough to go get a the the uh, air compressor of my dreams i'm 53 years old i don't want to buy another air compressor the rest of my life i want to buy one that i really like and go from there i uh will step out and unplug some things here first um and I will briefly show the video 
my new car. It's not a new new car, but it's new to me. And that is hopefully going to keep me working on the boat so I don't have to work on a car. <laughs> uh, if I have to work on a car, I will, but I hope not. That is my hunting buggy. That I don't want to scratch. That I don't care if I scratch. So I still don't think that's going anywhere. I think I'll keep that one too, just for hunting season. Uh, but it does mean that between now and hunting season, I got some brakes to fix, a door to fix, and uh, got to get it started again. I don't know why the battery went dead, but it did. Um, but uh, as far as my dependability through the summer so I can keep working on the boat, that's the goal. That's why that other one was bought. Hunting season's a long way off for me. Um, I am a little chilly. I'm going to shut this up, close it down, and go back to town and call it a day and know that I spent a couple hours in this shop and got something done. <laughs> that was fun. You all have a great day.